6 p.m. एम पाकिस्तान स्टैंडर्ड टाइम असलम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बाय हसन गिलानी फर्स्ट द हेडलाइंस नेशन सेलिब्रेट्स वन फोर्टी सिक्स बर्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ फाउंडर ऑफ द नेशन कायद आजम मोहम्मद अली जिना टूडे विद रिन्यूड प्लेट टू अपहोल्ड हिज गाइडिंग प्रिंसिपल्स On Kaid Ray, President and Prime Minister have urged for adherence to the vision set by founder of Pakistan to achieve goals of progress and prosperity. All parties Hurriyat Conference has paid glowing tribute to the Kaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah on his birth anniversary. Kyrgyzstan has stressed the need to establish Pakistan Trade House in Bishkek to boost trade relations between the two countries. Christian community in Pakistan is celebrating Christmas today as elsewhere in the world. Russian president has expressed readiness to negotiate with all parties involved in Ukraine conflict. The first cricket test between Pakistan and New Zealand will be will begin in Karachi tomorrow. And now the news in detail. Nation celebrates 146th birth anniversary of founder of the nation Qaid e Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah today with a renewed pledge to uphold his guiding principles of faith unity and discipline. The day dawned with special prayers for the security, progress and prosperity of the country. An investiture and graceful change of guard ceremony was held at Mausoleum of Qaid e Azam in Karachi this morning. Pakistan Air Force cadets handed over the guard's duty to cadets of Pakistan Military Academy. Major General Umar Aziz was chief guest on the occasion. Fatiha Khani and Quran Khani was held at the Mazar for Qaid and other leaders of Pakistan movement. Prime Minister Muhammad Shahbaz Sharif says adherence to Qaid e Azam's ideology can enable us to defeat all the odds. In a tweet today on the birth anniversary of founder of Pakistan Qaid e Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah, the Prime Minister said as a nation we have failed to live up to Qaid's ideals. He said nothing undermines a nation more than the lack of unity. Shahbaz Sharif said my resolve on this day is to keep working for the well-being of our people. President Dr Arif Alvi visited the mausoleum of Qaid e Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah in Karachi to pay respect to the father of the nation. He laid a floral wreath at Mazar and offered Fatiha. He also recorded his impressions in the book of visitors. Talking to media on the occasion, the president said, "Our freedom is the result of the vision and political struggle of our great leader." The president said, "Nation always built up by uniting under a great vision, and for us, that vision is of the father of the nation." In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir the All Parties Hurriyat Conference has paid glowing tributes to founder of Pakistan Qaid e Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah on his birth anniversary today in a statement issued in Srinagar the APHC spokesman said Qaid e Azam was a great visionary leader and Muslims of South Asia fought for a separate homeland and finally got it in 1947 under his dynamic leadership the spokesman said Pakistanis and Kashmiris share strong religious historic and cultural bonds and Qaid e Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah has rightly declared Kashmir as Pakistan's jugular vein. Prime Minister Muhammad Shahbaz Sharif has announced the grant of shohda package to martyred head constable of Islamabad police Sayyid Adil Hussain who sacrificed his life during a suicide attack in Islamabad. The Prime Minister also directed for handing over a check worth 10 million rupees as a financial assistance to the bereaved family of late taxi driver Sayyid Sajjad Haider Shah the prime minister's office has issued directives to the ministry of interior for taking necessary steps in this regard Prime Minister Muhammad Shahbaz Sharif has extended birthday wishes to his elder brother and former Prime Minister Muhammad Nawaz Sharif and paid tribute to his services for the country. In a tweet the Prime Minister said he always sought guidance from his brother and leader Nawaz Sharif as his imprints on the politics of Pakistan remain permanent. He said Nawaz Sharif's selfless service to the people of Pakistan is the hallmark of his politics. This is Radio Pakistan Minister for Railways and Aviation Khwaja Saad Rafi called on Prime Minister Muhammad Shahbaz Sharif in Lahore today during the meeting issues pertaining to Ministry of Railways and Aviation Division came under discussion they also discussed overall political situation of the country 
Minister for Railways and Aviation Khwaja Saad Rafiq says political consensus is imperative for political stability and economic development. Addressing a ceremony in Lahore today, he said government is striving hard to deliver despite difficult circumstances. He said the Punjab chief minister will have to take the vote of confidence. Khwaja Saad Rafiq said PTI badly damaged the country's economy and failed to serve the masses. He stressed the need for promoting unity and solidarity to achieve the country's development goals. One security personnel embraced martyrdom and two others got injured in an exchange of fire with terrorists in some Baza area of Yob district in Balochistan today. According to ISPR, one terrorist was killed during the surveillance and sanitization operation in the area. The sanitization operation continues in the area to apprehend remaining perpetrators. Ambassador of Kyrgyzstan to Pakistan, Ulanbek Totyov, has underlined the importance of opening of Pakistan Trade House in Bishkek for promoting Pakistani products. Addressing a ceremony in Lahore, he said, more Kyrgyzstan trade houses will be established in other major cities of Pakistan for direct interaction of business community to promote bilateral trade and tap huge potentials through regional connectivity. The Kyrgyz ambassador said, frequent exchange of visits of businesses community will pave way for enhancing bilateral trade in diverse sectors. Christian community is celebrating Christmas across the country today as elsewhere in the world. Special services were held in this connection in churches where prayers were offered for peace, progress and prosperity of Pakistan. Felicitating the Christian community on the occasion of Christmas, President Dr. Arif Alvi and Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif reiterated the government's commitment to protect the rights of minorities guaranteed and enshrined in the constitution. In Afghanistan, the interim government has ordered all local and foreign NGOs to stop female employees from working for not observing Islamic dress rules and other Islamic values. In a letter issued by Ministry of Economy to all licensed NGOs, it was informed that female employees are not allowed to work until further notice. The ministry said non-compliance will result in revoking the licenses of NGOs. Meanwhile, the United Nations said this move will hit humanitarian operations in Afghanistan. Spokesperson for the world body said women must be enabled to play a critical role in all aspects of life, including humanitarian response. The Council of Senior Ulema in Saudi Arabia has called on the Afghan interim government to enable women to have the right to learn in educational institutions and to reverse its decision to prevent them from this right. Ulema noted that preventing women from learning is not permissible in Islamic law. Russian President Vladimir Putin has expressed readiness to negotiate with all parties involved in Ukraine conflict. In television interview today, he said despite Russian offer of negotiation, Kyiv and its Western supporters have refused to engage in talks. Putin said Russia is ready to negotiate with everyone and we are not the ones refusing to negotiate. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Ji has vowed to deepen strategic mutual trust and mutually beneficial cooperation with Russia. Speaking at a conference in Beijing, he said, Beijing firmly rejects Washington's erroneous China policy. Turkish President Rajab Tayyip Erdogan has announced to establish ideal relations with Azerbaijan to usher in a new era in the region. Addressing an event in the eastern province of Erzurum, Erdogan said, Turkey is resolving conflicts and tensions in the region, which are the biggest obstacle to the effective use of region's potential. The first cricket test of two match series between Pakistan and New Zealand will begin in Karachi tomorrow. The match will start at 10 a.m. Pakistan Standard Time. Finally, the weather. Cold and dry weather is expected in most parts of the country, while very cold in northern areas of Balochistan during the next 12 hours. Dense foggy conditions are likely to continue over plain areas of Punjab, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and Upper Sindh. This is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio Pakistan news official.